It's crazy that you can get this much battery for so little money. Stick around and we'll get right to it. While inflation seems to be driving the cost of everything up these days, these batteries keep coming down in price. You can get 100 amp hours now for 160 bucks shipped to your door. Just be sure to use the two coupons on the Amazon page. If you want the short version of this video, well, I can recommend buying this battery. It passed every test that I could throw at it. Though keep in mind, I've only owned it for a short period of time. If you want the long version of the video, well, let's go ahead and jump over to the workbench and start working our way through the details. So we're looking at a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery giving us 1280 watt hours. Now, this thing is absolutely ridiculously small. You've got nine inches that direction. You've got just over eight inches that direction. And let's flip this sucker up so we can take a look at the top and we've got about nine inches that direction. That makes this particular battery smaller than the WISE battery that I reviewed about a year ago. It does come with a little, a uh, couple of little carry handles. I have used those, they do okay. Not the greatest things in the world. And we've got two screw-in terminal types. So you can use a Phillips head or a wrench to get those tightened up. They do also include a couple of longer screws in the box. So if you need to attach more things to it, you can do that as well. Let's go ahead and flip this over on the back. Now we do get a five year warranty with this battery and it has all of the standard uh, protections built into it that you would expect. So overcharge, over discharge, so, uh, short circuit, high temp and low temp. And it also supports up to four series and four parallel connections. Now we've got some additional information on the back. Uh, cutoff voltage is going to be 10 volts, max charge voltage 14.4, max series voltage 48 volts. Continuous charge is going to be 100 amps, continuous discharge is going to be uh, 100 amps, and the peak discharge current is 300 amps for 5 seconds. In addition, the battery is rated for 5,000 cycles. Now, what really impressed me on this battery was the capacity test. I connected this up to a battery tester overnight, discharging the battery at 10 amps and got just over 102 amp hours out of this battery. So it definitely gets a passing grade for the capacity test. The next thing I wanted to do was test the low temperature charge protection. So I threw this sucker in a freezer overnight. All right, so first things first, let's check the temperature on the exterior of the battery. And you'll see that that is reading about eight degrees. So as I connect the charging end, this light will go red if it's charging the battery and will stay green if it's not. Let's go ahead and plug that up and you'll see that it is not charging the battery because that light didn't turn red. So the low temp charge protection is definitely working. That gets another passing grade in my book. I have heard some of the earlier reviews on this battery that couldn't get the low temp protection to work uh, when, they, when they froze it overnight. I do think they have made a couple of upgrades to this battery in just the last month or so. And the battery that I received definitely protects the battery against being charged when it's too cold. Now, I do want to run a couple of tests here. I've got a 1,000 watt power inverter. That's the biggest one I have. So we're not going to be able to test the over discharge protection in this. But we can see what we can run with this 1,000 watt inverter. And you'll see with the heat gun turned on, we're drawing right around 20 amps. Let's go ahead and crank up the heat on that and we got it up to eh, it looks like between 38 and 40 amps so that would be more than enough power to run two digital stations at 100 watts on field day now i did try a couple more power tools unfortunately through no fault of the battery my inverter just wasn't enough to test any more power tools if you found today's information helpful be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off we will see you guys on the next one until then 7-3.